Breaking news, Israel has admitted to killing three hostages during a confrontation with Hamas. According to Israel's military, three hostages were fatally shot after the Israelis mistakenly perceived them as a danger. In a statement, the Israel Defense Forces claimed responsibility for the deaths of three Israeli hostages who were shot dead after the Israelis mistakenly viewed them as a threat during combat in Shijaya. Among those killed were Yodam Hayam, a member of Kibbutz Kfar Aza, and Samer Talalka, a member of Kibbutz Niraim, during the October 7 attack on Israel by Hamas. The Shai Arhangev Regional Council has identified 26-year-old alone Lulu Shamriz as the third hostage killed by Israeli defense. Forces, IDF, forces, according to the Times of Israel. Coming from Kibbutz Kfar Aza, he was studying computer engineering. Iranians make up his family. The military believed the hostages either fled or were abandoned by the terrorists who held them captive, IDF spokesman Daniel Hagari explained when asked how the hostages escaped from their captors in Hamas Mr. Hagari stated that immediate suspicion arose regarding the identity of the dead following the shooting and that the bodies were promptly sent to Israel for further examination. It was there that the hostages were identified. The incident is a tragic and distressing occurrence that affects everyone here, and the Israeli Defense Forces are fully accountable for what transpired, he continued, the Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, stated that they started reviewing the incident immediately and stressed that they are in a hot combat zone where fighting has been going on for several days. All Israeli forces serving in the field have been apprised of the lessons learned from this incident on the morning of the Hamas attack, Mr. Hayam, a 28-year-old drummer for the heavy metal band Paris 4, was last seen in a video he sent to his mother. The video captured him standing at his front door as gunshots rang out. Afterwards, his home was arson damagemr Talalka, a 22-year-old worker at a hatchery, was kidnapped while he was completing his weekend shift at the hen house. He and his family made their home in the southern Israeli Bedouin settlement of Hurid. We deeply regret the tragic incident and offer our heartfelt condolences to the families affected. Our national mission is to find those who are missing and bring all the hostages home. A ground operation in the Gaza Strip resulted in the accidental deaths of three Israeli hostages, according to the Israeli military. Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, the army's chief spokesperson, stated that Israeli troops mistakenly believed the three were a threat and opened fire on them on Friday. Troops have been fighting fiercely against Hamas militants in the Shijaya area of Gaza City in recent days, killing. Yodam Hayam, Samer Talalka, and Alone Shamri's identification of the three victims took place at the Hatsi Center in the Shura camp. On October 7, militants from Hamas abducted Hayam and Shamri's from Kibbutz Kfar Aza, and on the same day, they abducted Talalka from Kibbutz near Am. According to Rear Admiral Hagari, it remains unclear whether the captives managed to escape or were left behind. His words carried the weight of heartfelt condolences and deep remorse from the Israel Defense Forces. IDF, to the families affected. The incident was immediately investigated by the IDF, he said.